With Jake Gold, I'm Randy Roseman. Glad you're with us on CLU-TV from William Rowland Stadium. Yeah, for Ethan Pulley to be making 22 tackles like that, six solos, 16 assists. For someone who didn't even play defense in high school, this guy was a wide receiver and somebody who is now dazzling on the defensive side of the ball at linebacker for the Kingsmen. Yeah, Oderman has three touchdowns throwing the ball, two running, and three catching the football. So you talk about a do-it-all type of player. There you see him getting some yards and a first down. Yeah, Urell Blackshear out of Salesian High School. He's electric. He's a running back when you want to be a running back, but when the Kingsmen are in 10 personnel, meaning one running back, no tight ends, and four wide receivers, he's that slot receiver that's going to come in and run a jet sweep. We saw him do it last week for 19 yards on one play. Good job there of Eli Peters recognizing that his defensive end he was reading there was actually lined up inside shade of left tackle number 76, Daniel Avila. So he shouldn't be keeping that ball. He should be giving it every single time, and we see a first down from it. Great execution from the Kingsmen on offense. They had two receivers there running what we call a jet switch. Number one receiver goes inside, and number two has kind of rubs off the outside of him, and that was Magana who caught that ball and gives the Kingsmen the lead again. Well, I'll tell you one thing. He threw that ball with pressure coming into his face, and that's something you like to see from a quarterback is not shying away from contact and still throwing a very accurate football. And on fourth down, a great conversion for this Sage Hens offense. The chain moves, and you get an opportunity to perhaps get some points here before the half's over. One of the underrated parts for a running quarterback that people don't really understand is that they have to look at the front and understand where the matchup is better. Are the numbers better for protection on the left or right side? Eli Peters making the right call there. Now that was a chess move if I've ever seen one right there. You bring in a new quarterback on fourth and short, makes your defensive coordinator possibly overthink and anticipate that a run is coming, but no. Oderman steps off from the sideline, coming from his receiver duties and throws a nice strike on an out route. A first down, ending that streak of punts for the Sage N offense. Yeah, Lang is being called upon time and time again, and he just continues to show why the future is bright for this young freshman out of Shadow Hills High School. Cameron James has excellent vision, and it, I think, comes from his time on the offensive side of the ball. When he came here to Cal Luther in the first go-around, he was a wide receiver. But now he's being asked to be more of a defensive back and a return specialist. And he's really embraced that role and been that type of spark plug player that Bill Culpepper really loves to have back there. And there's Eric Smith. He's somebody who out of Newport Harbor High School was widely regarded as someone who you could put at linebacker, corner, safety. Kind of just did it all back in high school. There you see him scooping it up and... Now a bad punt turns into a turnover, which turns into an opportunity for the Sage Hens to possibly extend their three-point lead. And those quarterbacks at Pomona Pitts are not getting the time late in the game they had earlier in the night. Now and credit to that defensive line for bringing the havoc and the linebackers for doing their job, but what you see is a secondary that's making for tighter throwing windows and throwing lanes making it a lot harder for these quarterbacks to make precise passes. And that was great pressure on the edge, forcing Sias to step up in the pocket where he's going to be brought down by Lozano. Three minutes and 37 seconds for this Kingsman offense to operate and try to get its first score of the fourth quarter. Magnificent running here from Bird. We see him make one defender miss, two defenders, three, four, five. That's Marshawn Lynch beast mode running if I've ever seen it. Yeah, J.D. Lang has to be one of those players that's up for defensive player of the game for Cal Lutheran. He might not have that many tackles, but it's the breakups in the secondary in such clutch times. He's getting one hand through and just at the right time turning and making a play on the ball so you're not getting a penalty deep in the secondary. In the red zone, you're talking about 24 seconds on the clock. So much at stake here. The playoffs, your ability to... Do something extra outside of the season. It's do or die time, and I wouldn't rather be anywhere else than here in the booth of William Rowland Stadium. Well, thank you for a great job, and you have a very promising future. I liked working with you, and Jake, Jake Gold, remember the name. He does a terrific job in the booth, and he's also wide receivers coach at Grace Brethren High School on the side. Grace Brethren has a very fine football team, high school football team in Simi Valley.